we'll get a good view of James Hinchcliffe in his hands here. So far through turn one, looks pretty good. How many of you qualifying runs have you Oh! oh! Hinchcliffe with a big one! Big one. Up on its side, he lost it at the apex of turn two. It went loose, and it oh. went around, and this is bad news for tomorrow, unless they've got a spare car ready to go. We have seen numerous big crashes this week, and now James Hinchcliffe is on that list. It was tracking pit point 22, so the speed was not there. And that's been the trouble spot corner turn two. We've seen so many guys come close to the wall and that thing just snapped around on them. Track temp up to 121 degrees now as the AMR safety team tends to hinge clip. That went so fast and so violently. And there's a crash when you're in race trim running around at 220, 222, and then there's a crash in qualifying when you're up at the 228, 230 range, and that 10 miles an hour is a, is a pretty exponential growth in kind of impact speed. The Arrow Schmidt Peterson sister car at Meyershank Racing of Jack Harvey, we saw a little wiggle from Jack, and that was quite the fright for him, but this was just plain violent. And there is James getting out of the car. So the delay was just clearing it for him to be able to get out. And that brings huge relief to all of us here at the Speedway. Walking a little bit gingerly there, but that's a good sign. And then go back and clear his head now. Everybody's got to clear their head and get another car ready for him to make a run. That's Becky. That's James's fiance. And a little shaken, understandably so. And whether it's Sam Schmidt, Rick Peterson, James Hinchcliffe, Robert Wickens, everybody on this team have to be thinking to themselves, not again, we can't miss this race two years in a row. It's been a roller coaster ride for Hinch here. He's been on the pole, he's gotten hurt, he's missed the race, and here it just snaps loose. He was up high on the track, way up off the white line there, and it just pancakes the wall on the outside, just a dead flat hit and it comes up on its side. It doesn't go over. We see it with these openings in the bottom of the tunnel, but it's right here, it just snaps. Oh, flat pancake on the wall and then it, it doesn't go over all the way because of that safety innovation with the holes in the floor. Look at this Townsend, watch it go. Yeah, he's just high and he's adding steering because he's gonna struggle to make the apex and that's a, that's a violent hit. And it's very similar to Pato Awards that he suffered earlier in the week on Thursday. It's also similar to Kyle Kaiser where the car gets up and it goes sideways, but it does not go over. And that's a credit to Delara and to IndyCar's safety team. And here is, here is his good mate Robert Wickens. And he can't believe what he's seeing either. He heard the reaction of the crowd. and is worried for his mate. And right at that moment, Becky's being told that James is okay. It's a little bit high there, Charles. She's not down below the white line, kind of similar line to Helio, but it just, the rear just went on him. He was sort of wishing it into the corner like it was kind of loose already. And yeah, so he was very tentative yeah. with loading the car and adding wheel, not really wanting to do anything to disrupt it. And that's generally what happens when just you go through turn one and you feel a little bit loose. Free. You see the replay again. Super free in the rear. You're just scared to turn the wheel. 
because you know the back's going to come around and it's, really, it's the worst feeling of the world when you know right on turn in that the thing's going to go loose on you. Oh. And it, it, it's hard to describe just how violent an impact like that is as the driver. I mean, there's a good chance that all the air is knocked out of you and you can't breathe for a good 30 to 45 seconds. You've had that feeling. I unfortunately have had that feeling and it's not a lot of fun. Some slight damage there to the safer barrier. See, making some repairs, a big hit right there. So it's gonna take a little bit of time. There's the, the gouge in the pavement. So they're gonna pack it in some repair there to fix that. Hey Motorsports fans, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit subscribe before you go for all the latest news and highlights across motorsports.